La Coquette, La Coquette. Welcome everyone to La Coquette. Today we're gonna make pancakes. But uh, these can be a bit boring sometimes. So we'll stay away from the usual plain stack of pancakes and make them fun. Today we're making burger pancakes. This is a great recipe to make with kids or with friends and you have all the ingredients listed in the description below. Are you ready? Let's start with the pancake batches. First, we'll make the buns. We'll make a simple small buttermilk pancake recipe by beating an egg and then mixing in vanilla, melted butter, and buttermilk. Now add the dry ingredients. Baking soda, salt, baking powder, sugar, and gradually our flour. Beep, 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 and set aside. Now we'll mix our normal pancake batter. Mix all the liquids. In this batch, we're using regular milk and not buttermilk. And now sift all your dry ingredients into the mix. Once you mix them well, separate the batter into three smaller portions, one containing half and the other two a quarter each. Now let's make our meat patties with our big bowl of batter. We'll add three tablespoons of cocoa to the big batter and this will create our chocolate pancake mix. Yum! On to the tomatoes, which will be mini red velvet pancakes. In one of the quarter bowls, we'll add half a tablespoon of powdered cocoa and red food coloring. Mix well until it's all the same color. Now that we have all of our batches, let's cook them. We'll start with the buttermilk pancakes. And before we start making them, we'll make sure that our nonstick pan is ready and hot and with a dab of butter or nonstick spray. We'll use this cup to help us pour a bit of batch more easily. If your pancake starts forming another shape, let it cook for a bit before grabbing a spatula and turning it into a circle. We'll want our pancake buns to be fluffy, so we'll leave them to cook a little bit longer until you see all of its surface is covered in bubbles, okay? These will rise higher thanks to the buttermilk and baking powder. Flip the pancake and let the other side cook. Repeat to make the other bun. And now onto the insides, chocolate pancakes. These guys are a bit smaller and they don't have to grow like the buns, so I'll show you a little trick on how to cook them. We'll pour it and let it cook for a little bit before we flip it without a spatula. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The trick is in the strength and quick jolt that you give to the pan. I had to learn that after uh, some 355 tries, but hey, you can do it! Now let's make two or three tomato slices with the red velvet mix by creating tiny pancake circles. And now onto our bacon. We're gonna get creative here. Using some squeeze bottles and the three types of batter we've mixed, we'll draw the bacon stripe by stripe and strip by strip. You can design your bacon whichever way you like, with lots of little fat. I like mine to look fatty. Hmm, too bad it doesn't smell like bacon because it looks delicious. Once you have all your pancake components, it's assembly time. We'll start by putting our mayo on one of the buns. This is basically frosting made with cream cheese and powdered sugar. Then, one of the patties, and we're going to add melted cheese in between. You can use lemon curd for this. I'll leave you a recipe for it right here. Our cheese is followed by another patty and some delicious bacon. Yum! We also should have some greens here, huh? Let's add the tomatoes and our lettuce, which is basically shredded coconut with green food coloring. Last but not least, of course, some ketchup. I'm using strawberry syrup for this, but you can also use jam. And 
drum roll, please. We close our hamburger. Whew, what a feat. But hey, pancakes never look this good. Honestly, make sure you have some milk soda and some friends around to help you down this burger. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video, and if you try it, please hashtag with La Cuquette. Subscribe and see you on our next food adventure.